Almost every day we're learning more about how our gut bacteria influences a lot more than what goes on in just our gut. New research suggests that a mother's microbiome may influence the onset of autism in a child. My name is Neil Bobser and this is A Differential Now. Let's take a closer look. Autism spectrum disorder still isn't understood that well, but investigators of a study published in the Journal of Immunology have evidence suggesting that the immune dysregulation during pregnancy may provide a central role for autism pathogenesis. Investigators point to associations of higher than average rates of dysbiosis and gastrointestinal inflammation in human beings with ASD, suggesting a potential role for the microbiome in autism spectrum disorder. In the lab, it was noted that when maternal immune activation was manipulated while inducing inflammation in a pregnant mouse, symptoms used to diagnose ASD were recapitulated in mouse models, which is pretty fascinating if you ask me. Two separate strains of mice, one with a protective microbiome, the Jax mice, were placed with a strain of mice that lacked the protective microbiome, making them the autism susceptible mice, the TAC mice. Researchers noticed that through fecal transplants, since mice eat other mice's feces, which is kind of gross, that the protective microbiome of the Jax mice was lost, suggesting that the autism susceptibility in the TAC mice is a dominant trait, making the protected strain unprotected following the fecal transplant in the lab. According to research, it seems that a mother's microbiome acts as a middleman, if you will, and calibrating and regulating immune responses. The key immune response involved may potentially be targeted by a neutralizing antibody or the microbiome can be modulated so that the response is halted altogether. If that methodology sounds familiar, that's because the US Food and Drug Administration has approved similar neutralizing antibodies for psoriasis and other indications, meaning that there may be potential avenues to explore but it seems that this route is still a long time away before we could utilize it in humans, especially when considering that the immune response study here may also be important in throwing off fungal infections. And without it, there could be adverse fungal infections affecting fetal development. Well, thanks so much for tuning in. If you wanna read more on the study led by Dr. Lukens, check out a link on the screen. Check out Medscape for more resources, references, and tools. My name is Neil Bobsar, and this is A Differential Now. Thanks so much. See you next time.